get started in three, two, one. So four minutes, 51 seconds. We're coming through the front part of the prostate which is the median lobe extending out into the bladder. You can see to the left of the yellow line, the tissue essentially disappearing from view. Coming up to 80, uh, 75 percent power as we're coming over the bladder neck. Very likely, what's going to happen is they're, they're going to do a second pass, but you can see this what we call a, a remnant medium lip flap circle right here. We'll see what a second pass does to this, but there's a good chance that there will be a flap left, and uh, when Dean goes in to do hemostasis. He'll just use his loop and essentially just cut this off right here. Yeah. And that, that tissue will be removed. I could hear you talking on that one, Barry. Oh, I didn't have mute on that. My, my other, I have to, there's so many mute buttons to deal with here. Well, good thing you didn't say anything mean about the doctor. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hopefully Dean approved of my commentary. I've heard all the time. Good. Good. So now the power is going to increase incrementally as we go through the uh, bulkiest part of the prostate. In retention, Dean coming in or not? Uh, high post void residual, not no catheter. Okay. He's free of retention. Hmm? He's free of retention. He had a prior episode of retention. Okay. Not surprising with the median lobe of this size. Yeah. And I can say that. Um, this person has traveled from another part of the country for this. So, you know, he did his research and, um, you know, took an airplane all the way here to, to do this because, um, well, we're the only center in Canada, but, you know, he wanted this over what was available to him locally. Good. So what, what's your position on, <clears throat> excuse me, on if there's a remnant flap left? Do you prefer to dip the hand piece or do you prefer to use the loop? I think that's, I that mean, we can, we can certainly try and dip the hand piece, uh, but I think there's always going to be a little bit of when we do the focal bladder neck pottery that we can uh, carve off. So we're getting into the uh, beer root protection zone for the butterfly cut. Yeah. I don't know, Dean, what do you think? Do you think just certainly move in the start for the second pass, but do you think just run it through at this step? Uh, we, we can go a little deeper um, without, I don't think we have to dip the hand piece. I think we'll keep the same plan. We'll keep the hand piece the same. Yeah, I And then agree. maybe just contour a bit differently. Yeah, and again, I mean, you're going with a loop anyway, so you can clean things up versus banging up trigone or bladder. Yeah. All right, and that concludes our first pass.